Hey guys, so today we are going to learn about St. Elizabeth of the Trinity. Um, I first learned about her just a little while ago. Um, back in November, I was introduced to her, um, and she has honestly kind of stalked me since. Um, I've since gotten two of her books, of her writings, um, and have been loving every minute of them. Um, so she was a Carmelite nun back in the early 1900s, um, but a lot of her spiritual growth was actually before she became a religious um, because her dad died when she was younger. Um, she knew that she wanted to become a religious at a very young age. Um, she just, her dad's death kind of shaped her relationship with the Lord. It became very intimate and um, she just really looked to the Lord as as God the Father, um, and to guide her, um, which is so beautiful. What a beautiful reaction um, to such a hard, hard thing, um, at, like losing a parent. Um, so she knew that she wanted to become religious when she was younger, but her mom was so fearful of losing her um, that she always told her no, that she could not um, enter to the convent. And um, instead of getting angry, it was it's so beautiful. She just responded with obedience. Um, she stayed away. She did not go into the convent um, in, until her early 20s. Um, she was only a religious for four years before she passed. She, she passed away very young. She was um, 26 um, due to Addison's disease, which um, involves a lot of, a lot of um, suffering. Um, so she... Um, but before that, because her mother um, always said no, she honestly never thought she would get to become a religious. Um, and because of that, she really, really honed in on the interior life. And um, in one of her writings, she said, um, I wish I had marked it, but um, she had said, um, I don't think that I'll ever get to become um, go into the comment, but what a gift it is to dwell with you and me. Um, so her focus turned not to, um, just because her plans for the convent weren't shaping up for her, um, which is what she thought, um, she decided to really maximize, um, basically her situation. She chose to, to just find the joy and find the beauty and really dive deeper into her spiritual life um, with the Lord. Um, so she really focused on what's called the indwelling of um, the Trinity, so of God in you. So each of us has this indwelling of the Lord in us, um, a piece of God, um, you know, and she really focused on that um, and she sought to um, really nurture that both in herself and other people that she encountered. Um, and I really love, um, just her personality and her writings are so, is so beautiful. She's such a joyful spirit, regardless of all the suffering that she encounters, um, regardless of her, her dreams and her desires not, um, coming to fulfillment, um, until later. Um, you know, her, her response was patience and obedience, um, even amidst her frustrations and, um. I just thought it was a really beautiful way to really focus on um, this time. And um, I identify a lot with her mindset um, just in the way of, of her responses, um, you know, to some things. And like our days aren't exactly what we want them to be right now, but she is a beautiful saint to call upon um, to help you really shape your mind to what you're your day could be. Um, it's all about a mindset, you know, and um, she has such a joyful, joyful spirit and um, the interior life and fostering that interior life. It wasn't just when she um, was praying or peaceful or upset or discouraged or whatever that she sought out the Lord. No, she really, really dove deep into that indwelling um, and that interior life. She sought to have the Lord with her at all times um, and sought to, <laughs> it's my daughter, and sought to really um, be with him and talk to him and um, ask him certain things and just, just chat and just 
just be with the Lord at all times in her mind and in her heart. Um, you know, if, if she was walking, she was talking with the Lord and, in in um, really responding to the beauty that was in front of her, um, or even in the sorrow, you know, and in, in the suffering and, um, instead of, of, um, instead of really being upset with, um, you know, the suffering that she endured because she did, um, Addison's is a brutal disease, but, um, she decided to unite with the Lord and her suffering. And, um, even whenever it almost got to be too much, she would just, she would just push it onto the Lord and, 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 and really take on like the, the unifying factor of, um, just our lives, um, with Jesus. And, um, it's just so beautiful. I encourage you to really dive deeper into her story, into her writings. Um, they are very personable. She is, um, she's funny to me. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, so I hope that you learned a little bit about St. Elizabeth of the Trinity, enough to really dive deep into her because um, she's really a beautiful saint um, to dive deeper into um, and to help with um, contemplating the Holy Spirit um, in us and also just prayer and, and patience and obedience and all the things that we need, right? Um, so I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye!